I'm Greg Garbos of Four Season Tools. We're preparing to skin this 30 by 48 movable tunnel on V-Trax. This tunnel has no sidewall ventilation, so the roof plastic is going to go all the way down from our metal baseboard up and over our structure to our metal baseboard on the other side. It does have sidewall doors, so we made sure to put plastic attachment channel around the top and the edge of the sidewall doors. So we're going to talk about is all the different things to prepare for getting plastic ready. We went ahead and we cut our plastic. We measured from the bottom of the, the, the lowest point which it's going to go on this side up and over to the lowest point it's going to go on the other side. Uh, we had about 48 feet from basically the ground to the ground. We've got a 50 foot roll of plastic so the width of our plastic was fine. Our building is 48 feet long so what we did is we left a foot overlap on either side. So basically the piece of plastic we have here is a 50 foot by 50 foot piece of plastic. The next thing that we had to do is make sure that all of our sharp edges are taped. So everywhere where our plastic attachment channel comes down, any sharp edges, any of the seams of our plastic attachment channel, any of the stuff, we made sure to put some tape on it. Um, everywhere on our flashing on the outside, this actually isn't going to matter once the plastic is cut and some of this can get taken off afterwards, but when you're pulling the plastic, it does cost several hundred dollars for a roll of plastic, so we don't want to uh, cause any tears when we do that. So we taped all of our seams, we double checked all of our plastic attachment channel, we did the final check of all of our bracing, our brace bands, and everything before we get going. The other thing that we had to do was make sure that we uh, adequately anchored the building. So uh, in this scenario we've got interior anchors which are attached to our V-Track and we've got exterior anchors which are concreted in the ground which, we, which we've attached with our half inch yoke to yoke turnbuckles. We're waiting for a calm day obviously for plastic. You really don't want to be putting on plastic if you've got wind speeds even gusts over five miles an hour. So we've got a really calm day. We're out here on an island so that doesn't happen that often. So we have a great opportunity. We're going to try to get two buildings skinned today. So now that all the, the building is anchored, we've got a calm day. The next thing to do is to start getting our plastic ready. It's one of the last things that we do because we don't want the plastic just laying out and flapping in the wind. So we rolled, took our entire piece of plastic, we laid it all out flat, and then we flaked it like a sail. So we basically use like an accordion pattern to put it up again on itself so that when we pull it, we're not actually fighting the plastic and trying to unfold it as we go. To attach the plastic, to a rope, what we've done is we have several ropes that are thrown over the structure which people are going to pull over. Is we just tied a little knot and then we put the rope through itself to make a slip knot. Uh, we took a rock or something without uh, without sharp edges and we went ahead, used that slip knot, put that rock through the plastic, and then cinched it down. This will allow us to pull on the plastic without uh, without damaging the plastic very much. So now this is all uh, laid out and ready. We've got a couple ropes uh, already in position. We then set up all of our ladders. So we've got two tall ladders so we can reach at the peak on both sides of the structure. And what we're going to do is we're going to lift this up all the way. We're going to take advantage of the creases that are in the plastic and try to make sure that as we put it up over the structure, those creases which are along the length of the plastic are going to be lined up with the length of the house. Once we get it up where we want it to, we're going to make sure that we follow a crease that's lined up right with our top purlin. We're going to have people on both peaks and they're going to be pulling it away from each other to get it started. Then one person is going to put some plastic attachment wire in the top on their side. Then we're going to move everybody over to the other side and we're basically going to fluff the plastic. We're going to pull it up, pull it towards us and get it as tight as we can. Then we're on the far side, we'll go ahead and we'll get a, you know, the, the top, maybe half of that in with plastic attachment wire. Then we're going to go back to the other side, do the same thing, all fluff it up, pull it tight and also do about the top half of that. Once we have the top halves done, we're going to go to our sides. A lot of people on the two far sides will be pulling away from each other and we'll start putting that plastic attachment wire into our metal baseboard. This has got two channels so we'll make sure we put it on top of the top channel. Um, since this is a track tunnel we need to make up the gap between the rollers and the bottom. There'll be a flap of plastic that'll just come down here and that'll seal the gap between the rollers and the ground. So this one piece of plastic will do our roof plastic and we'll also do our flaps on both sides uh, of our metal baseboards. We didn't have uh, a sidewall door, this metal baseboard would we'll just continue all the way over. Since we do have a sidewall door, we do have to make sure that we put our plastic attachment uh, wire in around our doors. So basically, once you have it done in the top, once you have it done in the middle, you'll work your corners in to get them down to where they meet, uh, meet in the corner to make sure your plastic is nice and tight. So now that we got it all set up, it's time to start putting on the plastic.
up, one, two, three, and then you pull away from the center of the structure. All right, so we're going to try to do the same thing again. So we're going to do one, we're going to hang it, and then we'll do it again. So when you, when it's up in the air, you're going to wait almost a full second, pull it away from the building, and then pull down. So up, wait a second, away, and then down. All right, one, two, three, up, away, and down. All right, let's try that one more time. It's looking good. <laughs> Alright, one, two, three, up, away, and down. Alright, everybody pull it straight away if you can. Keep tension on it, pull it straight away. Alright, hold it right there. Keep tension on it. You have to wait a second. Keep tension on it. Alright, so we're going to work in two teams now. Alright, we're going to go down this way, and Colin, you're going to run the guys going down the other way towards Rod.